How are you guys doing? Peter from Archway Defense. If you saw our last video, you saw me go behind the scenes at JP Rifles to check out the PSC-11 build. Now this thing is an absolute dream and we've been beating it up pretty bad. We got hit up on Facebook and Twitter and some other places, uh, specifically email, saying that, yeah, JP guns are amazing, but competition guns are competition guns and there's no real purpose in self-defense, lawfully armed citizen, or duty. So what we're going to do today is take a JP-15, which is their entry-level duty gun. It's a brilliant little AR-15. More importantly, what we're going to do today is we're going to beat it up. We're going to put it through some stuff that you probably don't think you would ever put a competition rifle through, but it could be reasonably, and not so reasonably, uh, seen on the streets or on the battlefield. So that being said, I'm going to grab this JP-15. So this is their JP-15. Base model AR-15. Looks like an, a normal AR-15, but I'm telling you the build quality is amazing on these. So we want to put it to the test. Uh, our friends at EOTech sent us out a nice little optic. We're going to run it right along with the JP-15 to see what fails and when. Oh, one more thing. We've got a special camera angle for you today. I think you'll enjoy it. So we've got our Viridian V100, our EOTech, guys at EOTech were nice enough to send one out, and our JP-15. We'll be using different magazines throughout the day because we're not really testing the mag. We threw a Magpul sling on there just for the fun of it. This is a little coarse sand, not bad. So, I don't know how many competition guys do this with their rifles. I think that's in the sand, isn't it? Yeah. So, we'll grab it out with this sling. Okay. I don't think the EOTech failed, but I definitely think there's some sand there. Here, let's get this thing back up and running. There it is. And can we see anything? Yep. It's still there. So, let's give it a shot. Do a couple shots string. Okay, we can get hits. And it still cycles. So sand didn't do it. And if you're wondering if we try to uh, baby it, there's definitely sand in this. So, and this is what we expected. Realistically, sand shouldn't get in the action. The tolerances are so tight that it actually holds up pretty well. So if you want, we'll reset this and try it again. As expected, the EOTech still works, the Viridian still works, JP still works, Magpul Sling is still working. I know you're worried about that. Let's try it again. So, there. So this is sand test number two. Let's give it a shot. So again, I think we packed it. Let's pack it on the other side. As you can see, this isn't how we treat competition only guns. Get off the optic, there we go. I think it still works. Like I said, for those gun purists out there, you're probably gonna hate me after today, but we're gonna see where this gun breaks. <laughs> for a lot of people, you're gonna hate me after this, but we'll all get over it. As you can tell again, this is more 
This is a lot more than any competition gun would go through. Meridian still works. And we'll put it in again. Make sure that Viridian's underwater, Eotech's underwater. Viridian's still working, let's check the EOTech. I have no doubt it'll still be working, but still got to check. I <laughs> can't see. Here, let me clean it off. Did that do it? Forgot to chamber around, my bad. Gun's still working. The only reason I didn't get hits, as you can tell, it's a little hard to look through the EOTech. But tell me again, what competition gun on the planet goes through this? JP-15, this is their basic model. At the end of the day, this is their base model. Everything gets better from here, and this is impressive. Because would you do this to your gun? So let's, uh, let's bring it back in the water a little bit. Deserved a bath, didn't it? So let's make sure it's completely submerged. Bubbles are coming out, so that's good. Viridian's still rocking. We'll get it in the deep end. So would I suggest you do this with your rifle every single range day? Absolutely not. But we shouldn't be afraid to test what it's capable of. And by the way, this is more than a general submersion test. Right? We're just letting it hang out. So you want to shoot it? Let's shoot it. So muzzle up for a second. Oh, that's grimy. Make sure there's no. Okay, so we got our first, first failure on this, right? So it just didn't chamber, nothing wrong. Let's see if we can, we're gonna get a double feed. Let's try it again. So that's the first time it hasn't worked immediately. Let's see if it works. By the way, EOTech is still on. Short stroke. So what's happening, I'm guessing inside the buffer, it's full of water. There we go. So failure to cycle, we, we got our first failures on this. What happened, all those bubbles, because we let it in there so long, what likely happened was too much water got in and the bolt wouldn't cycle unless we manually did it. So everything's still rocking, Viridian's still on, EOTech's still working, guns up, but I think we just need to get that water out of the, uh, the buffer or something. So let's try it. Now it's working. All we gotta do is get, drain that water out of the buffer tube. Anything that we've seen so far is normal in regards to if you flood the buffer tube, yeah, there's gonna be too much pressure and it won't cycle. So. I feel like we should step it up a notch. What do you think? I agree. 